According to the World Food Program, one billion people in the world go to bed hungry. That's about one in six. Hunger is the world's number one health risk, killing more people than AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. There are more hungry people in the world than the populations of the United States, Canada, and the European Union, according to the World Food Program. 21,000 children under the age of five die every day from hunger-related complications. Constant hunger weakens the immune system, enabling all types of infectious diseases to thrive. These people will be chronically ill throughout their lifetimes, imposing an even bigger financial burden on the world. A shocking statistic is that the total amount of money spent on pet food in the United States and Europe is more than 13 billion, which exceeds the amount needed to eliminate worldwide hunger. Increasing agricultural production is one of the keys to fighting hunger and poverty. One solution to this global issue is children helping other children. In schools across the US and Europe, school children can make fruit and vegetable seed cards for the poor. A seed card is a piece of thick paper with integrated plant seeds. As a natural material and a non-aggressive environment, paper can sustain seeds by preserving and protecting them until they are eventually planted. All you need is recycled paper. Using junk mail, old newspapers, and the like to create plant cards will lessen the amount of trash that ends up in landfills and city dumps and contamination of groundwater. Here's how it would work. Tear recycled paper into small pieces, then soak in warm water for an hour. Put the soaked paper mass into a big blender, adding a teaspoon of cornstarch and more warm water if needed. Add the seeds you chose. These could be seeds from almost any plant, as long as their shape is flat and they are fairly small. Place the pulpy mass onto a mesh screen and shape it into a paper of desired thickness. Dry the pressed paper by placing it in front of a fan. Cut the paper once it is dry and ready into a desired shape and size of the seed cards and envelopes, perhaps cutting the shape of the food the seeds will yield. The school children are now ready to send the plantable seed paper to poor children around the world. When the hungry children receive their cards, they can read the instructions on how to plant the plantable seed paper. Loosen the top six inches of soil in the planting area with a spade. Tear the seed card into one to two inch squares. Dip each square in water just long enough to moisten the paper. Wet the planting bed with water as necessary to keep it moist. Most plant seeds germinate within two weeks. For the cost of a stamp, a garden can be grown feeding the world. And reusing paper waste helps lessen pollution in both the ocean and in the air we breathe every day.